What's up, guys? Faruqi Bros here, back with another video. And today, for you guys, we're going to be talking about the big reveal that Zack Snyder dropped this morning that we teased out uh, last night. Three new posters for Zack Snyder's Justice League and probably the thing people have been most waiting for, the official release date, which has been confirmed to be March 18th, 2021, exclusively on HBO Max. So um, we thought it would be pretty cool to get the gang together. Um, Samir, unfortunately, is in a class, so the three of us will be handling this one. So uh, let's get right into it. I'm going to start with myself on this one and give my my thoughts. So uh, for those guys who don't know, Zach dropped three posters today, and each poster had a different, different symbolic message to it. So poster number one um, had the caption Fallen, and it showed the original 2017 theatrical Just League poster um, it, it crumbled up and it's broken uh, and destroyed. And then uh, 10 minutes later, he dropped the second poster called um, uh, Risen, right? And the Risen poster had uh, the Justice League flag uh, in the rubble. And then you could see uh, Aquaman's uh, Quindent and you see uh, Wonder Woman's uh, sh sh shield uh, in the rubble also. And then 10 minutes after that, Zach dropped the final poster, uh, Reborn. And in the Reborn poster, you see the actual physical Snyder cut reel, the reel of the actual cut uh, coming out. And then in 300 uh, font, uh, Snyder's name is written on both title and director, right? So uh, I think he was sending a very clear message. I'm surprised. Uh, uh, the first thought I got was that, wow, this is meta. Like that's the right away it's my first thought this is a very meta poster because you're not just talking about the movie like these posters are literally about the physical film more than they are about the movie itself right and that's a that's pretty much never been done before like in history i would think like i'm, I'm sure it's been done a couple of times but i can't think off the top of my head where a film is that self-aware that it's like yeah the story surrounding this film is pretty much as big as the story in the film so the posters reflect both, right? There's a symbolicness of both. I thought that was great. I thought that was great about the poster. Obviously, black and white also kind of showcasing that original Snyder Cut journey. I am sure there are more posters than this. Uh, in fact, I'm hearing there might be a fourth poster, another poster that might be coming out as well. Uh, and we, and from our understanding, the trailer might be dropping um, closer to Valentine's Day this year, so 214, uh, uh, which is a number that many fans also uh, connected with uh, Snyder cut throughout the, the last few years. So all these things combined send a message to me that Zach is hyper aware of how the marketing is going. And he seems to be very hands-on and uh, looks like, you know, Turner and HBO Max and, and Warner Media are helping market this thing in a way that's very for the niche fandom and very for, um, for the fans who are really part of it. Uh, the general audience might be a little confused by it, but I think uh, that curiosity, that confusion will lead to more people being like, well, let's just watch this thing when it drops. Like, and that's that's kind of gonna help the overall trajectory. So those are kind of my thoughts on it, but I wanna pass it over to Zion and, and I wanna hear what you thought uh, when, you, when you saw these posters and which one stands out as your favorite. Yeah, I mean, I agree with everything you said. Um, these posters are really more about the story behind the film and how the Snyder Cut, um, Zack Snyder Justly came to be and the fall of basically what happened with the theatrical cut of Justice League. And, I think that's just, that's just so poignant and profound and it was an amazingly creative thing for them to do. I'm not sure who was the first, the creative person who were, or where the creative idea originated from, but I think they did a great job. I think it really pays respect to all the years of hard work and um, just support that the fans and everybody who showed who's been following this since the beginning. And this is really for them. These posters are for them. It's for Zach is to see the change that that's happened and then what's to come with Zack Snyder's Justice League at the end. I think that's also why the third poster, which uh, is probably my favorite, which shows the real Zack Snyder's real. I think that's really what's like, all right, this is it. Now we've made it through this journey illustrated in those three posters. And um, I think it was just an amazing creative way to do it. Uh, with the fourth poster, I, if, if it comes, once it comes, I think it'll probably be more in line with um, the actual story of the film close to how the theatrical cut posters were. I mean, most of those were garbage anyways, except like Clay Emerson's shots of the Alex Ross type um, uh, photos. I think those were the standout posters of theatrical cut. But as far as this, I think once the 
actual story poster comes out, that'll be just as amazing. And um, to just kick it off this way, I think it's just a huge uh, thank you and respect to the fans who've come along this journey and helped make this possible. And the fandom, they um, uh, have been obviously spearheading this thing the whole way. And it's interesting when you talk about the theatrical cut posters, which had, again, you're, it's very character driven, very, uh, you see Batman, you see Cyborg, you had all these like, different kind of looks at the poster. And obviously Clay, uh, a friend of ours, and obviously the, the guy who's one of the best photographers in the game, he did a great job just uh, capturing these heroes. And now the Snyder Cut posters are almost anything but like, you're not seeing any superhero on, on, on these posters. And it's just very much the directors at the front. And the fact that the only piece of color in all three posters is the name Snyder. Nothing else is in color. So, I mean, it's, it, it's in color red too. So it's almost like, it's like, I always, uh, for me, it always reads like almost like, uh, not like a middle finger, but it's kind of like a, like this is it. Like this is my redemption. You can make all, all your um, analogies and, and metaphors to the fountainhead or whatever the case might be. But um, this is this is very much that for, for Zach and this idea of redeeming uh, your artistic vision and then having just that red Snyder in is like very striking. So when I saw that third poster, that made the whole thing possible. Uh, and before I, I give it Umar and I get your thoughts on it, um, Samir did text me and he mentioned to me that his favorite poster was the second one. So the one with the flag coming down um, among the rubble, uh, he found that very striking also and said that you know he wanted to contribute that that was his favorite of the three but with that being said umar i want to jump it to you what was your favorite poster but also what do you what do you see in these what are things you like uh give me give me your thoughts and then speak on the release date for a few minutes also like just now that we have finally finally have a date to this thing yeah well they uh obviously we knew that um it was going to be close to march and that it was going to be you know basically where Batman v Superman sat um week so um that's cool um <clears throat> obviously I I always thought that would that's how it would have been anyways like I didn't understand why they picked November like initially in 2017 why they picked November I thought it would, it would be sick if you just like that Batman v Superman came out it's the next one we'll have it on that day so um, that's cool. Um, as far as the posters are concerned, I think uh, you guys have pretty much made all the points. Um, I think that the, especially like the last point you made, Charles, with the only thing in co color is, is Snyder. And I think that sends uh, a pretty clear message that, yo, this is like my, this is my thing. Like, this is, this is literally my way of doing things. And I think even with the first poster with the, you know, showing, symbolizing 2017's just like, um, we've talked about before how, um, that just, a, that's a compromise where he, 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 you know, he basically had to do a lot of things he didn't want to do. Um, so this, this movie that's risen out and, and, and the one that we're getting with, we're getting the real, we're getting the Snyder real, we're getting the whole, what he wanted in its full form. Um, and I think that that's something to be happy about, especially for fans, you know, they worked hard to get this. So, uh, he's, it's also, it's a thank you to the fans, but it's also telling the people that destroyed, um, you know, they, that destroyed it. Um, it's telling them that, yeah, I'm here now. Like I, yeah, um, yeah. And I'm, work, I'm, not, basically. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where Warner brothers themselves, like the main players, and I know I'm not gonna mention the names of the main players uh, at Warner Brothers. How they feel about this trailer? Because uh, now these posters, because that last poster, it really does feel like, like that reel was shut by them, and then he, it's like right in the center, like, like you're not even trying to hide it. Like it's one thing, like, oh yeah, here's a black suit Superman, here's the movie. No, no, forget that. Here's the freaking reel, the reel that you guys were hiding in the canisters, you know, for uh, three years, you know, and so it's like. Uh, that there's a symbolism, there's a poetry to it that I feel like the fans are gonna eat up because this is like right up like any Snyder fans alley of of the kind of stuff they like. So I can just tell like the the reactions this morning that okay, people are just eating this up. They they, they love this, right? How the general audience feels, I'd be pretty interested to see of what someone who's not understanding of the story where would they take this poster and that at least me think the marketing will continue to be niche, right? They're gonna be serving their niche thing uh, like the Netflix model to maximize this one fandom to watch as much as possible versus everybody watching it. Maybe the trailers will be more for everybody, but this is more uh, uh, for the fans. So it'll be interesting. I mean, the real marketing is going to be kicking off. Like I said, st uh, starting around Valentine's going all the way through 
March. Uh, but so we're going to be hearing a lot more stuff about that Zach's going to be sharing through that time. So February is going to be a very good month. Uh, for fans who are just waiting for stuff, waiting for trailers, waiting for new posters. But this is the way we're kicking it off. So I thought um, it would be pretty cool for three of us to discuss that. So the question is, how do you guys feel about uh, this? these posters? Why don't you let us know in the comments below. If you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, why don't you hit that subscribe button, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and uh, tune into the Built Different stream uh, this Sunday, every Sunday night, 8 p.m. Eastern time. We're going to get into this poster a lot more as and as well talk some other stuff, talk some other things, what's going on uh, with this movie, between Green Lantern. We'll leave some stuff on the way. So tune in to Sunday, good stuff on the way. From myself, from Zion, and from Umar, we're the Faruqi Brothers, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.